Few football programs have the storied history and tradition of Cornell. In 120 seasons, the Big Red has won five national titles, more than 600 games, and has produced seven college football Hall of Famers. Cornell is the only Ivy League school ever to reach number one in the AP Press football poll and the only school in America with an undefeated record against Ohio State and Penn State. When football was especially in its formative years and early, you know, early and uh, before, as it, as it got uh, very, very uh, popular, um, this is where it was at. And uh, great players, great tradition, um, and uh, you can't get away from it. Uh, even, even though, you know, like you said, people in the South think of SEC football and and, uh, and and other conferences. But I think that if you again, if you look back in the history of college football. Where did it start, and what, what, what were the programs that really put college football on the map, and, and, and that th this was the league? Glenn Pop Warner, captain of the 1893 Cornell football team, was head coach at Cornell twice. He was one of the game's great innovators, introducing shoulder pads and thigh pads, the screen pass, and single and double wing formations. Two dozen All-Americans have played at Cornell, and more than 20 Cornell players have played professionally including running back Ed Marinaro, who rushed for an NCAA record 1,881 yards in 1971 and finished second in the Heisman Trophy voting. The Big Reds' Pete Gogolak was the first ever soccer-style place kicker and became the New York Giants' all-time leading scorer. Before becoming a multiple Super Bowl winner as a coach with the San Francisco 49ers, George Seifert was Cornell's head coach. And now Ken Austin, an SEC great, an NFL veteran and a CFL legend is Cornell's coach, preparing to launch the Big Red into another era of success that looks to build on a great legacy and ensure a great future for Cornell football. We need to build on that tradition. We need to bring that tradition actually back to this program and, and bring this program back to a level that, that's really worthy of that history and worthy of that tradition.